Hi there, this is Jennifer over at Decor Sauce, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a diverter in your kitchen faucet. Um, this kitchen faucet is about three years old. We purchased it on Amazon. It's a Premier Sonoma, and I'll have all the details below after the video on what the serial number is of it. But um, as you may know, when we redid this kitchen, we have pretty much a champagne taste on a beer budget. So you can spend upwards of a thousand dollars or more on a faucet like this and um, but amazon has really good choices of great looking faucets that are a little bit more inexpensive um, however when you do that you sacrifice some quality in that this girl is a little bit even though she's beautiful she's a little bit high maintenance so every year or so we have to replace a diverter and the, the diverter is a small part it looks like this you can order it from the website where the faucet comes from. In this case, we ordered it from premierfaucets.com. It only costs about $3, but you'll know that you need to replace this part when the sink starts acting funny, making some funny noises. So it can be one of two things. For us, um, it's either a high pitch sound um, or it can be a high pitch sound accompanied by a rattling and shaking of the entire sink apparatus. It sounds like it's going to take off into outer space. Um, also, sometimes you'll notice that there's a, a delay between when the sprayer comes on and when your faucet comes on when you're switching back and forth between the two. So those are some ways to recognize how, uh, why the, um, what's going on and that the diverter is probably the issue in that case. So this is what it sounds like right now. And now you can hear that there's a high-pitched screaming noise um, and it's alternating between that and the rattling. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to get to the diverter and how to change and replace it. Quickly, before I get started, I just want to show you the tools that we need to use to get to the diverter. You're going to need a pair of pliers just like this and also a flathead screwdriver. Anything will do. Um, and then after that, what we need to do is get to the water source. And in this case, it's underneath the sink. So we're going to turn the water off before we start messing with the faucet. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to disassemble the, the faucet here. So first of all, we're just going to unscrew the top, just like that. And then we're going to lift off this top piece. Now we have to remove this section, which is where the pliers come in. If you can see closely, there's a little area of indentation here where you'll take in the pliers and then you'll unscrew this piece. Once you get this piece off, if you can look down the side in here, I'll show you where the, the diverter is. This is the old diverter right here. So now I'm gonna use a different tool to get that out of there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my big screwdriver, and if you can see down in here, there's a couple of notches, and unless you have a really wide um, flathead screwdriver, you're probably not gonna be able to get into both of those grooves with, with one tool. Um, this one, I started it with one side, and then now it's letting me continue. And so you just unscrew it, it starts to loosen, you can feel it. And then either you can pull it out with your fingers or you can use a pair of pliers to kind of scoop it out the rest of the way once you get it loosened out of those threads. All right, and there it is. So you just unscrew it until you can get it lifted out and I used a pair of needle, needle nose pliers to get it out. All right, so now we're gonna put the new one back in. Okay, so now we have the new diverter. It has a little black ring here around the top. That's gonna to create a seal between the two, um, between the faucet and the sprayer. So now we're going to, now that we made sure everything looks like it's in the right place, and as you can see, we had to dig out the old one and probably the one from the last time we replaced it um, because it was down in that tube. Okay, so now we're just gonna set it back in. And then we're gonna use our flat head screwdriver to tighten it back up again. And it feels nice and tight. 
So after that's in place, now we're gonna replace our sink components. And then we're gonna try it out after we turn the water back on and make sure that it's working properly. All right, so now the water's turned back on from underneath the sink, and then we're just gonna check out the faucet and see if it works. Works perfectly. And as you can see, there's no more whistling, high-pitched singing noises, or thumping in the counter. Fixing my diverter, as simple as that. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jennifer over Decor Sauce. If you like this video and you find it helpful, please like my channel and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day.